All right, so we are in the wilderness. Woohoo! Um, there's a really pretty lake on our left, and I'm feeling fantastic. I feel great. I was a little beat up in New Hampshire. Um, the whites and the presidentials and the wildcats and the carters kicked the crap out of me. But ever since we got to Maine, I feel like I'm back on my game. My pace has sped back up. Um, I just feel a lot better. And yeah, just feeling great. Really excited about these next 100 miles. So, me and Easy ended up hiking a little past the shelter that we were going to stay at because we wanted to get part of this climb out of the way for the morning, and this might be one of the best views we've had on trail. Um, so we're going to cowboy camp on this rock, and this is what we're going to be going to sleep to. Right here. Me. No. <laughs> this. The stars are probably going to be insane tonight. There's no clouds. They're going to be wicked. So yeah, this is uh this is our view. And that's our camp spot. That's where we're going tomorrow. And that's where we're going tomorrow. Alright, so we are doing the chairbacks today. This is the top of the fourth mountain. The next mountain is the third mountain, so they're going backwards today. Um but yeah, this is Possibly our last hard day until Katahdin. We have white cap tomorrow, but we're gonna sleep at the base of it So the whole day as a whole won't be too hard um, This is the last tough day which Kind of makes it less tough because we're more enjoying it than dreading it um, Yeah, it's hot out and it's still early so it's probably gonna be a hot day too, but Oh no, not terrible. Right here at these ledges. All right, so we just forded that creek right there, and I have I took off my shoes um, so that they wouldn't get wet, obviously, and I have a little cut on my toe. And I've been waiting for my feet to dry. And my cut all of a sudden was bleeding right there. And I realized that you can't really see them well, but that's a leech right there. And it was stuck to my toe on the cut. And I thought it was dead skin, but I went to pull it off and it was resisting. And he's just there squirming right now. But you can see my blood in him. It's crazy. Which, yeah. Never had a leech stuck to me before, but now I'm looking at all the little twigs and stuff and making sure there's no more. Cause that's freaky. 83.9 miles to Gadadin. 
nearly there. at the top of White Cat Mountain. That's pretty what? good. It'll probably change. Yeah, there's four out of four out of ten. It's not going to rain. So oh, it's forty percent not going to rain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Pete? What's up? Yeah, I'm kinda I'm kinda wetted to the plan already. So. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's coming back. I have a friend. <laughs> Seriously, there it is. He's coming. There oh. Is. Yep. Oh, he's so close to you. Come here. I know who you are. Come here. Ah. Come here. I really think it's gonna land on you. Come. Come down to this branch. Come on, let's play. So no. things are going well. <laughs> Our sanity is uh, mildly intact. Alright, so since white cap um, coming down that, the trail has flattened out loads, and I'm sure I've said this a million times already, but we've been calling this the red carpet, and it is the flat stretch until Katahdin. Um, and we've just been cruising, we're going to have a 24 mile day today, which doesn't even feel like a big mile day, we're still getting to camp at the same exact time we usually do. Um, a bit of bummer news is that half of our group is behind us right now, um, because even though they stopped throwing up and being sick after like 24 hours, they still don't feel better, per se. Um, Paris and Thigh Gap are at least a half a day behind, and Ziploc is a full day behind, so, um... There's been some talk that they might not, or at least Ziploc might not, make it back to where we are for Summit Day. Um, and that can't really, there's not really much wiggle room with that anymore because we've booked flights and stuff. So hopefully he can catch up. Um, there's a place called White House Landing that we'll be reaching tomorrow where it's like a fishing camp that they let hikers um, stay at, kind of like a hostel, but it's not a hiker hostel, it's like a fishing thing, and they're across this lake or pond, and you call them on a sat phone, that's where the trail is, and they come over on boat and pick you up, um, and easy has been talking about it for most of the trail, um, that he really wants to stop there when we get here, 
and so tomorrow we're only gonna do nine miles to get there, which should hopefully give the people behind us a chance to catch up to us. Um, today was the 24, so we don't expect to see them tonight, but with only nine tomorrow, it shouldn't be impossible. Uh, so yeah, we're hopeful for that, and I'm excited. I thought Shaw's would be our last Nero, but we've kind of bought ourselves time by doing a big day today, and so we get another Nero tomorrow. Um, in bad weather, it's supposed to come in at the end of the week, around when we're going to summit, but the percentage chances are low, so we're just staying hopeful with that, but yeah, that's an update on everything that's going on right now. I am a mile from Joe Mary Road, which is where we'll be camping near tonight, and there have been lots of ponds and things to swim in. Um, and yeah, it's just been a really nice, calm end to the hike. Um, just kind of unfortunate that our group has broken up due to last minute sickness. This is cool. I'm nervous. You have to do it. You're the guy that talks to the guy. Alright. Alright, go on. Should I do it? Yeah, do it. I think we call, I don't know if we use that. It says use two way radio as a last resort. Dead battery or zero signal with. I marginal yo work it's on so oh. we have service though i don't know if i i didn't i have service, I have service oh, all right, too. All right fine i won't use it <laughs> all, this all, all this way all this way yeah he's cruising man he's got the seat sideways like a pro he might be able to i think he might be able to fit us yeah. no hands bro. Right. what's his name great question bill yeah hi there hey bill hey. Good, how are you? So we're kayaking um, around White House Landing right now, and that's Katahdin, right behind Easy. He's pretending he can't hear me right now, but he can. Okay, we're gonna hit a rock. What do we got? Right over there. 
if he'll drop the stick. And he'll shake it. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> he'll play fetch with you. Oh, he heard you. <laughs> you want to fetch? No! <laughs> He doesn't, he has so much energy. He's a chunk. Look at how big he is. <laughs> You're a chunk boy. Do you like the play? You're like me. You and I are the Here's the viewpoint we're at right now. There's Katahdin. Right across this lake. So we're gonna go around it on this side. Somewhere. Tripping. Tripping. So me and Easy are hiking down. Do you know what mountain that was? Oh, uh, I don't remember. It was like a crazy. It began with an N. Yeah, it started with an N. It was a mountain. Um, it was the elevation was 1560. That's all I remember. Yeah. So it was the last little peak that we're gonna hit before Katahdin. We are now 36 miles away. We are 46 miles away this morning from the top of Katahdin. Today is Tuesday. And the dilemma we're facing is that Thursday morning, uh, actually Wednesday night at 11 p.m., it's going to start raining. And it's going to keep raining until Sunday. Um, from what we just checked up at that peak, we had a little bit of cell reception. And so we're planning on summiting on Thursday, a.k.a. the day after tomorrow, but it's going to be raining. And now everyone's talking about waiting till Friday, but it's going to be raining then too. And everything's gonna be wet from Thursday. Um, so me and Easy, we're kind of running amok with our ideas right now, but we're thinking about possibly not camping at all tonight and just hiking through the night um, and just going until we can't anymore and trying to summit. Hi there, how's it going? Hey. So yeah, me and Easy are thinking about not stopping to camp tonight, hiking through the night, hiking all morning, and seeing if we can get to the summit in the afternoon tomorrow. That way we can get up and down before the rain starts tomorrow night, which would be insane. It would mean that we did 46 miles with Katahdin in it. Um, well, actually it would be 51 because there's another five miles down Katahdin. So it would mean doing 51 miles in two days, um, but it's not, well, less than two days because we'd finish in the afternoon. This doesn't sound smart when I'm saying it, <laughs> but <laughs> we're getting ourselves really hyped for the idea. Up. And we are kind of talking ourselves into it. Um, it would be a psychotic way to finish because we wouldn't sleep at all and we'd be absolutely exhausted. But <laughs> every day after that is a zero. So if every day after that's a zero, who cares how much it hurts? Um, so we're still in the weighing pros and cons ideas right now, but it's either going to be summit in the rain on Thursday or beat ourselves up all day and night and morning tomorrow and today and summit tomorrow afternoon. And neither sounds great, which makes the one where we summit tomorrow sound not too bad because neither of them are great. <laughs> so yeah, working plan.